What's up guys? This is the Raveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Louisiana Empire. So to pick up where we left off, we are hoping to strike a blow right into the heart of the Austrians by taking their capital, Vienna. We've got a couple of other armies up to the north which we need to make sure we deal with, but they will be annihilated in due course. So without further ado, let us attack Vienna and destroy the enemy's city, their heartland, and incorporate it into our empire. And I think, well, we very, very, very much got the, uh, the Austrians on the back foot here, I think, now. Once we've taken Austria, we've kind of cut their empire in two, and they will have a cluster of troops in Italy and a cluster of troops out in uh, Eastern Europe. But then that starts to blend in to our war against the Ottomans, and we don't have any um, major concerns there. I mean... We have, we have had a couple of uh, devastating uh, battles um, against the AI recently, um, but no matter, we have we will throw more men into their breach to solve the problem if needs be. So let's put our howitzers up front, our field artillery on the left to cover the breach, our sharpshooters and two line infantry are going to cover that. Five units are actually going to sit in the trees here, got plenty of cavalry. Let's get our mercenaries to join this group. There we go. So let's attack the city. Uh, how it's our attack ground up front. See if they can lob their quicklime shells over the command HQ. Because I'd like to try and knock out some of this cavalry. Just like that. Lots of Svetljega Sofia, rocket troops, light dragoons. They did have a Royal Cuirassier Guard there, I noticed. But yeah, if we can knock them out, then we can make for a much easier, a much easier battle. So they are starting to do some counter battery work, but we will knock down the wall in short order. Killing a handful of men as our cannibals strike home. So let's speed up time. I can't remember which. I'm pretty sure it's that battery we've got attacking the center. The rocket troop is advancing. But yeah. Speed up time just to let the uh, let our noble work continue. Yeah, make a breach. Clear it out with quick climb. Try and flank the shoulders. We'll flat attack the shoulders of the breach. We killed a general. Oh, that was yeah, quick climb, right. I was looking at these guys going, wait a minute, he wasn't in a line infantry unit, was he? That'd be really weird. Once we make the breach, we're up at 80%, so should not be. Ooh. Get this unit that's not currently firing to attack the Marines. Try and do some damage. The rocket troops losing members. Well, there we go. The wall collapsed while some men were aboard. So, they have mortars. So all we've got to do is just make sure we do things carefully. The cavalry is not deploying. Let's switch one of our howitzers to round shot to try and do some counter battery work on the... Actually, no. Bad idea. They are massing at this breach. Oh, that's a great hit. Field artillery. Shrapnel shot. Attack ground. Outside the walls. So hopefully they'll lob the shrapnel over our troops. I think they will. But that could do some real damage. Boom. Shots away. I mean, you guys have actually, if anything, have probably advanced up too fast. Shrapnel shots coming in. Yeah, doing some good damage. The 25th Regiment of Militia are upset. We'll have to get a guard unit to provide more fire support here. So let's attack some of these units manually. Get all my howitzers to fire round shot at the mortar garrison. Because to be honest... Ka-ha! Cavalry coming around on the flank, eh? 
You men fire at will. We've got some riflemen here. So they're going to be deadly accurate. Which you guys have got your got your stuff together. Shrapnel shot detonated right in the middle of the grenadiers, and they're broken. Start to attack some of these troops that are resisting. I mean, let's get get a unit up on the walls. You guys cover. You guys cover. Let's try to get one unit up on the walls here. But it might not even be needed because it looks like we might actually. To be honest, you guys just quick climb the breach because there's a chance that we. Uh... I wonder if I got that order in quick enough. I did. <laughs> yeah, they're just pouring out of it right at us. You men pivot and re engage. So who's that out there? A regiment of. A guard regiment. Okay. Yeah. Not important. To be honest, it's looking increasingly like they're throwing their entire um, their entire effort out of the breach right at us. Let's get one unit up on the wall. Grenadier guards are getting ready to advance. Hopefully, we can even we can uh, reduce their numbers somewhat. Ah, nuts! Killed a handful of them though. 26th Regiment of Militia have routed. They might come back. Like, there you go. A unit of Provincial Militia did return. But the Wimbush Jaeger are advancing. Yeah. No, I don't think that's going to last very long. Let's get both these units to attack the Grenadiers. These are reinforcing Grenadiers, so you kind of expect them to come back. I mean, look, that's just not... That's just mean. But this is what happens. They just, they've just pushed outside of the... Uh, they just pushed outside of the wall. And we're right here. This is why you always want guys sat here waiting, providing some element of cover. One last provincial... Oh. No, we don't. If some men coming back, they might try flank us, but we've got men ready for such an eventuality get my cavalry onto the rear of these dragoons grenadier guards rockets are firing at close range there we go so get my cuirassi to fight the generals the line infantry get my um how it says to engage the enemy mortars with quick climb. Let's get my cuirassier to charge into the back of the grenadier guards. You guys should be enough to knock out that unit of line infantry. My guns can cease fire because there's just no need. Push some men up through the breach. There we go. The grenadier guards are done. My men can just pour through the gate because it, it is ours. The marines are attempting to catch us out, but we outnumber them significantly. And yeah, we're just going to come straight on in. Charge down those gunners. Ceasefire with my howitzers. Give everyone separate orders to attack different units. Yeah, these marines, so they might do good work if they weren't so outnumbered. We've only got 26 marines left. Or well, not left, they've only got 26 marines at all. Yeah, one last artillery crewman. Is this the general? Probably. Very well. Get my gunner, get my cavalry to stand on the centre. Get my inf infantry that have pushed through the rear to charge into the back of these men. 
and just start the ticker. See, they're elite troops. They've got some garrison guards in here. They won't go down without a fight. But I think these marines will. Because they can't each kill about, you know, 30 or 40 men. These guys are just... They don't quite know where they want to go. You guys cease fire because you're killing... You're almost, almost entirely killing my own men. These guys can't work out how to charge people. These, these marines, they're getting more and more experience the more men die. It's two men they've killed. But they're slowly going to get picked off. There's just far too many of us. Oh, there we go. They've shattered. I think they've all gone. Yep. Now they're going to be slaughtered as they run through our lines. Pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, it's just, let's just leave it. You know, let's let's not be hasty. Let's not be mean. But there we go. We lost 383 men, but we've taken Vienna. And we could... If we could... Well, we could. I, think, I definitely think we could... If I rebuild all these government buildings, do you have the movement to just run up to Hungary and just go give up? No, but you can siege them anyway. Because, yeah, in northern Italy, we do need to start squeezing the, uh, the Austrians. But then again, I would like to secure southern Italy as well. Let's take... This garrison... Oh, they're, yeah, they're just irregulars. Let's take these guys and go fight Oscar Bischoff. Just auto-resolve that. Because it's just mostly irregulars. Irregulars don't, won't stand up to regular line. Uh, you're probably enough to charge down and hit um, Sieg, 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 Siegbert. Noel, let's get you to the coast. Okay, he's got a bunch of privateers, so we need to send the privateers off too. Here's pretty fairly secure. Oh no, it is here we need, because these are all battleships. Yeah, 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 I get you. I get you. Let's take this sloop, which I'm sure I had another objective for. Okay, in which case, you guys stay in port. <laughs> you guys stay where you are. Can't do that, General. Let's upgrade it to a steam dry dock. This fleet's getting pretty hefty. Yes. Yeah, you're the remnants that have pulled out of... Um, pulled out of... Uh, Italy. Oh, don't worry. Let's pick up... A sloop here. You can upgrade this building. Let's upgrade. Well, the roads are in the process of being upgraded. Gilbert. Advance up to the Venetian coast. Because it would be useful to take these territories. Because it would open up a third front against the Ottoman Empire. Um, so we've got an army up here that's curiously quiet. Obviously we've got an army here. You guys are a bit are a bit knackered though. So weirdly, what's the best way to play this? I mean, I probably want you to come up here and attack the Austrians, but if I time it wrong, you won't be able to get in and attack them from the direction I want them to. I want you to attack from here. I think it's worth doing, because the army from Prague is not happy good you can attack still yeah the army from prague isn't isn't in good shape i mean these guns can run to breslau to try and give them some sort of garrison i mean you yeah, felix laroque yeah, you guys are depleted you're, you're gonna advance to the south of vienna 
You're here to stop them from running this direction. So I think the only thing we can do is take Amadio and Mortier and hit you. Draw in that reinforcing army. We can use the city, the garrison of Prague for reinforcements if need be. But I certainly don't want to rely on them. Um, but fortunately a good chunk of the first wave at least is militia. So let's attack the Austrians and hopefully push them southeast. Because running any other direction could cause issues. But then we're probably going to want to follow this up with offensives offensives, offensives in um, uh, Genoa and in well, up towards Milan. We start squeezing the, Aust the, uh, the pocket they've got in northern Italy before it causes too many issues. And then at some point we're going to have to attack Rome with a massive um, Italian states garrison there as well. Okay, this is pretty good. So weird artillery bug. <laughs> well, weird bug. I, I honestly don't know why they just decide. Sometimes they just go, oh, we're going to have a massive crew. I'm like, right, okay. So let's spread out. Spread our troops out. And again, this is another example. So cavalry, they should have 90 cavalry in, but for whatever reason, this unit's decided to go, oh, I'm going to have 149. Fair enough, whatever. And how it's a crew of 207 men. No idea. No idea. It shouldn't happen, but it has. But it does. You guys... You're out of range, mostly out of range with shrapnel shot. Eleventh horse guards, old Modena Curassier. Yeah, they look okay. Militia of the Swiss lines. Here come the reinforcements all the way from back here. Fortunately, directly behind their line. Cool looking warehouse. Witnessing the battle. Ooh. Yeah, our line stretching out on our, our right flank. From their perspective, it's the left. The artillery coming in. Attacking the enemy. Ooh, good hit. It's the 12th Regiment. Cavalry falling back on the right flank, but that's definitely where they're massing their cavalry. So much so, let's take my, my strengthened division back. Bring another unit in. Make you guys drop into square to anchor that right flank. So my howitzers are good. My artillery should really focus on their artillery. Oh, their mortars as well. Yeah, knock out their mortar batteries. Quick climb should be fairly effective. Well, we're getting sound issues again. Okay, there we go back for some reason, temporarily. So the trouble is with artillery is they need a... They need, like, direct hits. Whereas quicklime, a near, like, a, a near hit will do. Shrapnel. There you go. Blowing some real holes in these guard marine units. And look, this missed. But it hit this unit of line infantry advancing behind. So, there you go. we've beefed up our heavy cavalry contingent on the flank, but I want them to hit my square first. Yeah, you guys, just keep attacking the mortars. It looks like they got an expanded mortar crew. Oh no, maybe they do have that many men in them originally, I don't know. These men are going to advance up and secure the high ground. My cuirassier here are going to advance to cover the flank. Enemy cavalry is on the move on the left. Like cavalry sharpshooters are going are going to charge my line. I mean, obviously they're not going to like it. The horse guards are in, but they're going to get a volley on the way in. From these these two regiments of infantry. General's bodyguard is dead. 
heroically charge my line. But stay in square formation, don't get giddy. There we go. So begin to turf out some of their cavalry units. You men hit the 17th, you men hit the 9th. You see you... No, they're not within shrapnel shot range. Okay, we've won on the left flank, so I'm going to push these units up to cover... to cover more of the battlefield. I'm going to advance my one unit of cuirassier up to try and spar with their howitzers. Which means my my howitzer can actually focus on aiming at something else. My my this artillery needs to start firing canister, and to be honest, I need to push my men down the hill. So they might cause some issues with the first light horse here. So drop you guys into square. But I'll, I'll at least get another unit able to fire. You guys chase down the enemy artillery. We do have a dug-in unit of Swiss line. Good to know. You men charge the 10th horse. That's going to be a real toss of a coin. They've got a few less than we do on the field. But I could tip the balance with some infantry here now. There we go, it's the enemy mortars taken care of. Yeah, you guys just pound the men in this in this like central pocket with canister shot and artillery fire. Charge these mercenaries. Don't bother about killing the mortars, just make them go away. Curassier guards down to 76 and we've got 85. We should win that fight then. These cuirassiers, yeah, charge down the guerrillas. We're going to start to see enemy reinforcements entering the field. This enemy push in the centre is going to not... It's going to um, go poorly. They're going to be fired... They're being fired upon from many, many directions. You charge the 12th light foot. These men are going to want to open up onto my cuirassier. So let's get my artillery to try and open up on them. Hoping I can knock out the mountain jaeger quickly. Retarget these units with shrapnel shot. There go the jaeger. Let's bring this artillery back. Use my, actually no, focus there. Shrapnel shot will, should be ready by the time they are... Oh, they're starting to win now. So yeah, these extra cuirassiers are going to help tip the balance. So shrapnel shot should hopefully... tear into these fellas. How it says you can attack the 5th Regiment of Militia. Here comes the shrapnel shot inbound. So misses are attacking the 5th regiment. It's a miss there. Swiss Mountain Jaegers still exist. Who's that? Lancers are coming in. You guys fire a round shot at General's bodyguard. Well, the Royal Cuirassier Guard should go down to my superior artillery. This section of the line can advance and form a more coherent position because we are going to want to advance into the enemy. So you guys are just sat around not doing anything. You could chase them down, but I want you to be ready because you've got lancers coming in, a lot of them. 
we can clear out the 12th Regiment of Infantry, that'd be pretty nice. Bring my Cuirassier back. So it looks like we are... They are acting like a bit of a magnet. The 12th Regiment are going to go down. Yeah, the Mauen Jaegers are probably firing into this cavalry combat. So hopefully we can knock them out fairly short order. Although it looks like you guys... You gonna kill some of your own men? Oh, Quicklime did that. Charge my Curiosier down the hill. Advance into the enemy. So my cavalry is gonna charge into the lancers. Yeah, let the militia advance. I mean, these lancers. Have at it, my cuirassier. We out we've got an extra 40 more heavy horses than they do. They're going to do more damage on the charge. But we're going to do more damage in the fight. So you men advance up that flank there. The lancers are going down. Yeah, as they should. The lancers. This is what happens when you... You get an engaged, you get an a, um, extended combat against regular enemy cavalry. Let's get my field artillery to switch to round shot. Although they're fairly useless. Engage the line infantry here. So you men firm up the line. The lancers have tried to retreat here. And it's not going to work. My artillery are going to limber up. Okay, they've my, that, this cavalry is spent. Officially spent. So this wing of troops are going to advance up onto the right flank. The U-men positioned to kill those troops. The lancers are destroyed. Advance our lancers to the centre of the field. These men are needed to throw the Swiss line off balance. It's more running for you guys. Push the general up. I mean, my, artillery, so my artillery can't really do anything. It's too far away. And it's likely not going to get a better position. Unless maybe... Eh, could put it over here. May as well. There you go. So I'm hoping I can knock the 26th off balance. My artillery... My howitzers... Lim, lim, advance. Advance through the corpses. Yeah, so they've got some good troops. Like Marines. A good regiment of foot. The weird... The Wied Regiment? Wied Regiment? One or the other. They will not be walking out of here in so many numbers. So who's that? A Fusiliers. Okay, yeah, you guys advance. In my Crossier, they're being fired upon. They're upset. Get my cavalry to advance over onto that hill. So I'm hoping... These flanking units will get the Swiss line infantry to change their any preconceived notions they had of fighting us in that position. But they'll sit there and go, we can fire at them, but although we might end up getting hoisted by our own petard because it looks like they might fire into our flanks. So let's push our cavalry up. Let's advance some of our units of line up that side of the warehouse two units take position on the hill fusiliers push up as well you men run there we go the 26th should fall under our fire especially with these these flank attacks good So you men pivot immediately. Our cavalry fall back. 
These men advance the left hand flank. Yeah, all, mo all of these men are just stood there because they're there going, I guess you don't need us to move the guns. I'm like, no, we don't. Okay, so you men dig in and fire on the the infantry on the slope on the, uh, the top of the top of the hill. Howitzers stop unlimber. Yeah, fusiliers. These guys are potentially dangerous. Artillery deploy. Could cause trouble. Although not as much trouble as these guys will against the enemy cav the enemy artillery units. Quick climb, attack ground right there. These Jaegers aren't going to help things much on the left flank. Yeah. They're loading their cannons. New men on limber. Cover the crest of the hill. There go the howitzers. So there should be a nice howitzer shot somewhere in the middle of this chunk. Yep, there we go. No specific units ordered to attack. Marines are charging down the hill, eh? My fusiliers have got something to say about that. Okay, you guys pivot to face the Swiss line. I am well aware that they are charging fusiliers, the squishiest of squish. But I am also aware... of the impending um, loss of the enemy's artillery. And then you guys can advance up. You, well, they're hidden. You men push up. You guys are going to fire into the flank and destroy the fusiliers, or you're going to fire against these Jaegers. You're both engaging the Swiss Grenadiers. So you guys attack the Swiss Grenadiers. The hope is we can attack these the Swiss Grenadiers and then we can pivot these guys around to hit the rear of this action over here. That would be the, the intention. And hopefully these men eviscerate the Fusiliers. There we go. So hopefully you guys... Okay, hopefully... Yeah. You guys that don't really have a purpose, you can run up and flank the Swiss line. Usually is routed from this melee combat, which is entirely expected. And the cuirassiers are just holding them, or attempting to. Hungarian fusiliers. I'm not quite sure where commit these cuirassiers into the fight as well. Looks like we've kind of done a a, um, a uh, you know, a no you situation. That's what we've kind of done. Look, we're behind you. We're going to flank you. And they just got a no you. So you men Okay. Artillery sees fire. Okay, you men advance down the hill here. These two men fill up the gap there. Cavalry charge in. Charge infantry down the slope. Don't leave our weak, our fairly weak cavalry isolated. Mob them. Mob, mob, mob. And this unit here should be done for, because they'll suddenly realise, wait a minute, the 8th are here. And they have. They're marching up to face the 8th Regiment, who are not reloaded yet, although point-blank range. One volley should do it. Ah, nuts. There we go. Fire! 
There we go. Obviously the grenadiers have come back, because that's what grenadiers do. Just right click. Right click the blob. Let's spit, split some of this cavalry out of the fight. A, because they're a bit upset, and B, we've got some units we could really do with killing. Yeah, the Marines say they're winning decisively, but they can't win everywhere. The 31st Foot Guards, this big co whole column of infantry marching against the Swiss Grenadiers. Yeah, there they go. So those men have routed. We are going to continue. Don't kill yourself with gunfire either. There we go. Let's help my cavalry knock out the odd unit or two. Not that there's many units left on the field anyway. Obviously one of our cavalry units might actually rout just from A, loss of numbers and B, exhaustion. 7th Grenadiers are done for. So who's left? You're not going to make it to kill these guys. Because even though they've got a long way to go, so have my cavalry. I've got to wait for them to get past my line first before I give them the attack order so they don't charge through my men and kill them all. There we go. But yeah, the edge of the map's here. So it might be close. We might... We might catch the back of them. But we're not going to... Well, if we wipe them out, that would be brilliant. That's gravy. There we go. So some of them have stopped to fight us. Oh, there we go. They've changed course. Although some of them have. Some of them have continued to advance. Oh, no. They're going down. Sweet. There's two here, which might cause issues. I mean, if they're going to go for them first, that's smart AI, because that is now the last guy. He's got some distance to cover on his little legs. Good old Marine. Smashy smash. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. That's really... I mean, we've taken a battering as well, but... You know, they're more so. They've only got a thousand men left in these two forces, and and they have been successfully driven the right direction. So you men can replenish. I mean, you guys could probably run around and squash them, or free, near as damn it, and then get back to a, the more appropriate position. I've got one force here. Near Preshov, uh, Pres Presburg, Preshov, Presburg. I don't, I don't know if I'm mixing places up. Well, if they're under siege, Vienna hates us, but they've got a university. So if we destroy that, that should make them a bit more okay with us. Obviously, we're going to repair all of our buildings anyway, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. But then we're probably going to want to take. Yeah, we've got some troops. Oh yeah, we've also got you fellas, don't we? We're gonna run around the line. Your orders, your Majesty. So you're gonna run yes, sir. up to try join. Oh no, you don't need to. Silly Billy. Let's take this force under Bertrand Molyneux. You men can garrison Turin, keep them keep them on side, and you guys. Well, it might take so this guy is useful because he's, he's protecting our western flank in in Italy from these guys from driving east. So I might take Gerald and run him up here. You men advance. Keep Gerald behind because I don't want Gerald to engage. But I want him to reinforce because I want you guys to hit Florian Winkelmann because that will hit this force and the garrison at Milan so we can knock them out as well so let's do it then we're probably going to drive 
an assault down from the north from Munich as well, through the Alps. That would be quite a astute maneuver, I think. Because then, well, yeah, right now we've <laughs> the Austrians are in a bit of a they're in a really bad position, really. They've not got a lot of freedom to move. Which obviously is uh, is good for us. But let's see. We might get screwed over by deployment. You never know. Ooh. So obviously my artillery wants to sit up here. We've got a Fusilier core. And we're going to flank that with a, gar uh, a marine unit. Then our reinforcements, well, these like these guys are nominally going to form our left flank, but I want to keep an eye on where the reinforcements might come in from, because, you know, the AI does love a surprise axis of advance. They do like that, even though you should be able to predict it, you'd think. Okay, good. So we have, we've predicted this one. So then you guys form up on the left. Both of our light infantry units go wide. Cavalry advance. Infantry center advance. I mean, it's going to be a bit frustrating because it means they're all the way over here. And our artillery can't shoot that far. How it's, oh, I think I might have done it just in time. I want to shrapnel shot the provincial cavalry because they'll be what slow us down. There you go. The commander of that local force has been annihilated. Very well. Let's limber up our field artillery. Because I want to uh, move it over to the... I want to move it over here. And because it's... And the same with our howitzers, to be honest. They need to manoeuvre. Because everything's just a bit out of range. So our marines aren't going to be fighting through the town. Yeah, here they go, unit after unit after unit entering the field. But because of our heavy horse, this is heavy horse guard artillery, it means it is pretty mobile. So when they move, they do... I mean, I don't think they run, per se. Oh, they do. Running is a... Yeah, running is a thing. Huh. So we're annihilating their... unit... that's currently alive on the front of the field. Our f horse guard artillery is rapidly relocating. So the hope is these guys will unlimber. Oh, don't. Oh, they knocked up one of my guns. Damn, just a bit too long. Let's speed up time because these guns are going to spin around and hopefully... There we go, they have the enemy pocket in sight. So my horse artillery can constant focus on counter battery alone. Which will also put lots of artillery rounds in the general area to do damage over here as well. Like misses or kill cavalry and all sorts, so it doesn't really... That's not a problem. My howitzers are still trundling. They can't run. Let's command my fusiliers to deploy stakes because we've got a giant horde of enemy cavalry coming. 
It's going to take a while. There we go. They deployed. There's my light infantry. See, they could have done with deploying stakes too. But these guys could all drop into square. Because this, this is a completely isolated cavalry advance that's going on right now. Three units of household cavalry. The second, the third, and the ninth. Marines are like some of the worst units to cavalry charge. Especially they're going to lose a good chunk of them on the initial charge. Yep, yeah, there they go. So you men preemptively all deploy into square. There's not really a lot they can do because, you know, squares are squares. Can bring my cavalry, my own cavalry into the mix. And I need to carefully monitor them to make sure they don't drop out of square. Because they are known to do that. Like that unit. They're out of square. So you charge the household cavalry on the flank. You guys carry on running. Household cavalry. Right. That's not great. I should really have targeted the uh, field artillery before just letting them shoot at whoever they like. Kill the horse guards. I don't like it that they're trundling around this area unmolested. Advance our light infantry up. There we go. Okay. So you guys advance to face the enemy column. Your howitzers drop quick climb in at point blank range. You men advance. You guys will. You guys will need to advance a bit because you're out of range of the mercenaries our light, inf our light uh, infantry is engaging our cavalry has been successful our squares no longer form squares instead form line and engage our cavalry reform behind the lines quick climb is doing some devastating damage Cavalry, heavy cover on the right, advance. Got to be careful of the stakes. We might have to meander around a bit, but we can take out their artillery. Quick lime's coming in. Fusiliers are not going to take this sort of mess sitting down. These horse grenadier guards are going to be very upset by the constant withering fire of my skirmishes. There's a general, there's a horse guard unit over there. Let's keep our cuirassier wide. There we go. Let's advance up the road. The windbush jäger that are engaging from all the way back here. The guards might well come back. They've only lost half their number. So hopefully we can knock out some of these units on the flank. You guys should all be folks firing the ninth, the 13th light foot. Trouble is, these are marines and line infantry versus pikes. Pikes that are in good spirits as well. They're dangerous. The Jaegers are going down. There we go, let's get them running in hard. So yeah, my cavalry, that's not a good engagement for my cavalry, but I need to kind of mob them. To be honest, I could just run my heavy cavalry in. But you guys cease fire. Charge my cavalry through the line.
Oh, you're still firing because you've got light infantry behaviour on. Yeah, so you men pivot. Yeah, like six, yeah, I know your infantry, you're upset about what's going on. That's what they're, that's just provincial cavalry. They'll go down quick enough. My artillery's ceased fire. Swiss pikes are going, they're all going down. Just not in the numbers that we'd like. So let's throw a unit of, a unit of um, irregulars into the mix. The Grenadier guards are back, so let's focus fire them. There you go, the artillery. Oh no, wait, wait, oh what? They've deployed a, a unit of stakes here, so let's real carefully we lost one cease artillery fire there we go so the pikemen have done a huge amount of damage but we have successfully been able to withstand their attack and make it such that they didn't they didn't do as much damage as they possibly could have done. So these cuirassiers are engaging the enemy. You guys advance to try and do something against the enemy there. You guys chase down the Royal Hungarian Grenadiers. You guys attack the Provincial Cavalry, knowing that if you run through, you might suffer when you try and come back. You're doing good. Let's bring some more cavalry to bear. And let's speed up time, because right now... So, like, right now, what the worst thing that could happen is that. They lure me out. They lure me through the line and then back. So this is actually going to take a bit of... A bit of micro. Oh, you guys hit a... A mine back there. That I didn't know existed. You men charge and hit the Provincial Cavalry. And you should... As long as they keep running away from the defensive position and don't run back... You guys should win. Like then, they, they they pushed back in. I didn't. I really don't want to follow them because that's how I kill all my cavalry. So let's run away from this defense now that you're locked and loaded. Then charge back in because we are heavy cavalry. They're not okay. There we go. So that was a bit dodgy at the end. A bit of damage done to my heavy cavalry, but eh. This is why you have two armies, because now, Florian Winkelmann, your army's been pushed back, as has the garrison. So you men can replenish and potentially don't go within the control zone. You men might be able to, well, potentially demand the surrender of the garrison because they have no, they don't know for sure that this army will actually come in and help. Your humble servant. So you guys, uh, you guys stay where you are. Actually, don't build that. They'll just they'll just break you. So one of the so these armies are going to advance down the down the this gap. Although you're going to take the lead because you're not depleted. The Bavaria, yeah, they're coming around to us. They're unhappy about our rate of industrialization, but eh. But Vienna was secured. You might actually stay where you are because these guys, well, they can't advance west. These guys can't advance east. That's quite a nice balance, I think. So you've advanced. You're getting ready to go onto a ship, and maybe you might land up near Syria. You're advancing. Everyone here is waiting for various things to happen. 
Obviously, Anatolia is happy. We're going to tax you now. So we're going to build a church school. You're still replenishing. Obviously, you're up to no good. You're reinforcing. This force at Chechnya, I don't think they can leave. <laughs> Certainly not. I think we've got everything on the east eastern front sorted. We're waiting for them to do something in particular. You're blocking them from crossing over Istanbul, which is great. Yeah, I think we've done most things we can do. I know about these guys, but our army... You're, you're going to hightail it out of there. And you're going to position ready to fight them. They've been stationary for the last few episodes, so I don't see why they shouldn't do so again. Okay, let's hit in turn. Spies on the way to Moscow. Reinforcements are moving up to the front at Jerusalem. Anything more? More troops here at Madnagar. They'll have to be ferried over in due course. Obviously, the Austrians know what's happening. They can see the writing on the wall. They're combining their damaged armies together, which makes sense. Yep, so that army that could take a city and defend it is now just is content to raid us. The Austrian gentlemen are abandoning their university because they know that it's being torn down. The diggers are going in. But they've cancelled the teardown. So these guys are going to raid. I wonder if they might even... Well, we might have to run one army up to Paris. You're going to raid your way across the countryside. That's to be expected. Well, if the Ottomans move just the wrong way, they'll draw us into a... Well, we'll draw them into a uh, offensive action. So they have to be very careful what they do. They probably don't like that we've got an army sat there off next to Istanbul because that might screw with a lot of their movement because we've now kind of stopped them from being able to move troops between sides of their empire. But what I'm going to do is because I suspect they might be stuck for a... Oh, no. Cancel that. <laughs> They've moved within range. This is exactly why I had this army sat here waiting for them to try and advance. That way they, they, they could either move north and be intercepted or go east or west. They've elected to go north so we can destroy them. But looking at the timer, that we're pretty close to the end of the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time for the destruction of this Ottoman force, which is pretty weak. <laughs> Cheers, everyone.